So this is a follow-up to my video on land expropriation without compensation. And there have been some uh, interesting comments on that video to say the least. So uh, there is no way that I'm going to be able to individually answer all of those comments. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is focus on the general feel of what people are saying. Um, now, I don't think that politics is what is going to change the world. I don't think that governments are going to be able to effect um, change on all levels and in all aspects of our societies. And I'm not talking about just South Africa. This is, this is a global point because South Africa is not the only country that is facing issues. And as much as we might like to think it, the issues that we're facing in South Africa are really not that different from the global issues. We're facing issues of inequality, of um, unequal opportunities, of um, education systems that don't actually educate our children to successfully and effectively face the challenges of the real world and life after school. Um, we have healthcare issues. We have food issues. We have poverty issues. We have all of these issues all over the world. And yes, South Africa has a very specific background of apartheid, of before that uh, colonists settling on the land and um, displacing the um, indigenous tribes. But that is also not an issue that is isolated to South Africa. That is something that humanity and blacks, whites, so every color has been doing since the beginning of humanity. Maybe there were a few tribes, a few cultures in the world that were absolutely non-violent and coexisted in peace and harmony. And that's fantastic. I think that there's things that we can learn from every part of life, things we can learn from every different culture, from every religion, from every person. There is good in everything. And uh, the principle that I live by is investigate all things and keep what's good. The other thing that um, we in South Africa, I think, focus far too much on is race, color of skin. Um, cultural background, uh, where we were born, where our ancestors came from. We are all people. We are all equal in that we are expressions of life. Um, the only differences that exist between us are the differences that we create and the differences that we perceive. So when we start talking about issues that have to do with skin color, we are actually creating division. We are creating separation. We are creating conflict amongst each other when we should be creating solutions, creating harmony, creating balance, because we are all here together on this planet. None of us had any choice whether we uh, would be here. None of us had any choice of where we would be born. Uh, which parents we would be born to, uh, what country we would be born into, uh, what religion our parents taught us, what school we were sent to. We are here and nothing is going to change that. We are all here together. And yes, things have been done in the past that are absolutely unacceptable, things that should never be repeated. But these things are being done here and now as well, not only in South Africa, but in other countries in the world. And it just goes to show that we need to get our priorities straight. We need to start focusing on how we can come together to create a better world, regardless of what someone's name is, what their culture is, what their religion is, what their skin color is. Those things shouldn't matter because what matters is, is that we are here. We are humans we are all deserving of respect we are all deserving of equality uh, we are all deserving of 
of equal opportunities. We, are, <laughs> we all deserve the basic necessities that we require to live. Clean water, healthy food, a safe home, good education that actually prepares us to become effective and, and valuable members of society where we can contribute to the world around us and help it make, make it a better place. These are all things that we could be focusing on rather than on blaming each other for all the things that were done wrong in the past. If we keep playing that game, then all we're going to do is create more of the same, more of the same inequality, more of the same poverty, more of the same injustice, more of the same hatred and anger. We are creating whatever it is that we are putting out into the world in our thoughts, words, and deeds. We are the creators of the world. We cannot keep blaming our ancestors for where we are now. We have the choice now to create a world that is better than what our ancestors did. We have the choice to rise above their actions because we know that what was done in the past and what's being done now across the world in different places, to different degrees, is unacceptable and should not be happening. It should never have happened, but it did happen. It is happening. We need to change that. And the only way that we're going to change that is by being different, by rising above the petty divisiveness that we partake in. So, back to the issue. As I said in the original video, I am not against land redistribution. I am not against the redistribution of wealth. I think that land redistribution at the end of the day is going to be necessary um, because of the huge inequality that exists, not only in South Africa, but globally. Um, as I said in the original video, I think that the people who want to be farmers should be allowed to explore that life for themselves. The people who want to live in a city should be allowed to have that opportunity and that option, regardless of their economic status. I think that people who want to live in the suburbs and that kind of setup should have the option to do so. I think that no one should live in a shack. No one should be homeless. No one should worry about if they're going to be able to make rent. And that is not just a South African issue. That is a global issue. We in South Africa just pretend that it's all about race. It's not about race. It's about humanity. It's a human issue. It is an issue about how we live with each other, how we treat each other, how we lack basic respect for each other, how we focus on our differences rather than on coming together. So, yes, there are issues that we need to face and Yes, it's not going to be simple or easy overcoming the issues that we face. It's not going to be easy letting go of past prejudices. It's not going to be easy, easy to forgive the past injustices. But that is what we must do if we are going to create a better world. Okay. I'm not going to say any more on this topic. Because what has come through in the comments is basically just more of the same so I will most likely be turning comments off on the original video because all it's doing is promoting the same hatred and divisiveness that has been the leading cause for all of the injustices that we face in the world only difference is this context it's about race and about the specific South African background. So, consider for a moment how you can be part of creating a better world for everyone and how you can be part of changing the way that we think, the way that we live, the way that we treat each other in your life. How can you be part of the change? Because at the end of the day, change has to come from people, not from politicians, not from 
corporations, not from black people or white people. It has to come from all of us together. So, thank you for watching if you have actually watched the whole thing. Um, and uh, I hope that this in some small way does contribute towards some positive change. Uh, not only for South Africa, uh, not only for black people, not only for white people, but for all of us all across the globe.